We've all been to expos or summits or the world's biggest events for data and the like. And we all wander around the booths looking at what's best swag on offer and how we can get our hands on it. But alas, there's always a salesperson on hand to hand you that leaflet and get your details off you as quickly as they can. And then they're going to tell you that they have the greatest software built by man, all using the latest AI techniques. Or is it actually machine learning? Or is it deep learning? Well, today we're going to find out. My name is Stuart and I am the data strategist. And like I said, today's topic is AI and ML beyond the sales pitch. So let's meet John. He is the lead salesperson for John Doe Software, and he wants to tell us something. Our system has algorithms that use the latest tech in AI. Our team have built the most performant ML all for you. That's great, John. Thanks very much. But what algorithms are you actually using? Do you know? Sure, it's a neural network. Hmm. Okay. So now you're left thinking, was that AI, ML, or something else? Although John is not incorrect with the wording he's using, it can be very misleading for people. So what we've got here is artificial intelligence is the overarching bracket that holds subsets like machine learning. And then we have further subsets called deep learning. So John was technically telling the truth, but they all have very different outcomes. So let's try and get a bit more of an explanation of each of these areas first. So first up, we have artificial intelligence. Now this is the ability of a computer program or a machine to think and learn. It also has a field of study which tries to make computers smart. They work on their own without being encoded with commands. And then we move on to subset of machine learning. Now this is the scientific study of algorithms and statistical models that computer systems use to effectively perform a specific task without using explicit instructions, relying on patterns and inference instead. Then you've got a further subset which is called deep learning. Now this was inspired by the structure and function of the brain, namely the interconnecting of many neurons. Now neural networks are algorithms that mimic the biological structure of the brain. So now it becomes a little bit more clear of what all the differences are, but yet they are still within the same, used within the same terminology and frequently used interchangeably. So you can see why people get confused. But finally, to really understand the difference, we need to look at some of the real world examples. So first up, we have AI. Now a good example of AI is the Google Home or Alexa. Now these are based on natural language processing and machine learning. So they encompass two subsets of AI to build and make smarter pieces of software or computing. So let me come to machine learning. Now a real world use case is recommendation engines. They can sometimes be built on random forest algorithms and they are used for things like a pair of shoes on Amazon that you didn't really know you wanted or a TV series on Netflix that it believes that suits your viewing habits. The final example I'm going to give you is deep learning, which is the final subset of machine learning. Now there was a British company called DeepMind acquired by Alphabet in 2010 that set out to help in medicine and change the world for the better. But it's actually more commonly known for beating the best players at Go and chess using neural networks. And most recently, a system called AlphaStar, built by DeepMind, went on to beat one of the best players in a new generation game called StarCraft II. So I hope that gives you a really good understanding, or gives it a bit more of a breakdown and insight into artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. I hope you found it interesting, so hit the like button and the subscribe button. My name is Stuart, and I am the Data Strategist. Thank you very much.